Did you see feel it. what happened at the Share Show opening I, well, the other night? I was night? at the Share opening night. You were so there. I was actually Tell, there. For those who don't know what happened. With well, the, uh, 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 first of all, the Share opening night the other night was actually the, one of the most star-studded opening nights I ever, I've ever gone to. And um, I, I, I mean, I walked, I walked the carpet and I had my pictures taken, but then Share was the next person that walked uh-huh. on the carpet and got her pictures taken. And I, I whipped out my phone. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Cher. Well, on the red carpet, you know I mean? it's okay. And so, right, it's the carpet. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. And, um, but, but Kanye and Kim Kardashian were also at the opening night. And I, I don't know how often they go to the theater. Uh-huh. You know, I think people that go to the theater often know, all right, it's, it, it, the, the lights are dimming. It's time for me to turn off my phone. Let me escape into the world of whatever the show is. You know, let me escape into the world of Cher and lose myself for at least an hour and 10 minutes, the first mm-hmm. act, right? And then I can turn my phone on in intermission. I don't know how avid theater goers Kanye and, and, and Kim Kardashian are. I don't think they necessarily knew to turn off their phones. So, so Kanye was on his phone and, and tweeting during the show. And um, one, of, one of our beloved Broadway veterans, Jared Spector, was mm-hmm. playing Sonny Bono, was like, I see you. Kanye, uh-huh. I can see you in a dark theater of over 1,200 people, you know, that you're on your phone and tweeting. And he tweeted at him and said, hey, just so you know, like, it's, it's opening night. It's a big deal for us. And we're doing a show up here. So if you don't mind, you know, he actually asked in a very, very nice way. Yeah. And, in, and Kanye, Kanye actually credit. and was actually very apologetic. And I thought that was like, oh, awesome. Like, you know, he, he might not know. That's the thing. Like, right. if you don't go to the theater often, you might not know that. Because everyone's got their phones out at Kanye's shows. Yes, absolutely. And that's a different, that's a different world too. You know, I remembered, you know, even going to concerts back, my first concert ever was, New Year's Eve, and I don't remember which New Year's Eve it was, but I remember it was probably in the early 90s, and it was Janet Jackson <gasps> at Madison Square Garden. Wow. And, and there were no phones. I remember so it, you didn't used to be allowed to bring a camera in yeah, to the so, theater. Yeah, so when you watched a concert, it really was like everybody watching the same thing. Mm-hmm. And nowadays, it's almost expected, right, that at a giant concert at Madison Square Garden or something, everybody has their phone up to, like, Instagram the moment or, you know, to, to grab a selfie with whoever's on stage. And it's just it's just the culture's changed, you know. But I'm, not in the theater. I think there's something about the theater. It is such an intimate space. Mm-hmm. And, um, and the beauty of theater is that we all join this experience together mm-hmm. communally, that we all go someplace together as a group, you know, in the same way that you wouldn't want to whip out your phone in the middle of church. Mm-hmm. I think of the theater in that same hallowed way. It's definitely my church. Right. It's, it's <laughs> just, it's so, so, and I, and I hope that never changes actually about the theater. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 